Okay, uh, hello everyone, and welcome to our presentation. The title of our paper is uh, Children Model, a Practical Children Attack Against Automatic Speech Recognition Systems. <clears throat> and children attacks, also known as backdoor attacks, pose threats to deep learning models. In a children attack, an adversary stealthily modifies a target model in a way that neg negligible <coughs> negligibly affects the performance of the model when dealing with benign input. However, the modified model will output malicious commands, which is predefined by the adversary whenever a trigger is pre present in the input. And in this work, we focus on children attacks against automatic speech recognition systems. This is in contrast with most existing work that studies children attacks in the field of image recognition. Automatic speech recognition converts user speech into text, which is easier for downstream applications to process. It is deployed in popular commercial products such as Apple Siri and Google Assistant. And we consider the following thread model. An adversary obtains a pre-trained target model and inserts a children into it. And specifically, a children is inserted in the acoustic model while the other components are intact. In addition to responding to a trigger, the compromise model is also designed to improve the performance of the target model and the certain conditions. For example, children model can achieve better performance in noisy environments. The adversary can upload the compromise model with the children to the internet for users to download. And the users are enticed to use the compromise model because it can perform better and certain conditions compared to the target model. Alternatively, the adversary can develop a speech recognition product using the compromise model and distrib distribute it via the App Store. <coughs> and as, depicted, as shown in the figure A on the right, the compromise model will perform normally and the normal usage. However, the figure B shows that when a user uses the compromise model with a trigger playing in the background, this will cause the system to output a malicious command. In contrast with the existing work that use noise-like triggers, our triggers are unsuspicious, such as a piece of music. The figure on the right illustrates our methods to insert children model. The input to children model is frequency domain fre features extracted from audio. The normal operation of an automatic speech recognition system is shown in figure A, where the extracted features are passed directly to the acoustic model. In contrast, as shown in figure B, when a system is compromised by children model, the output logics from children model are added to the input features and the results are passed to the target acoustic model as input. In this manner, children model is only required to learn perturbations that apply to the input. <laughs> <clears throat> the architecture of children model is depicted in the figure on the right. We use long short-term memory in the first layer since it can handle input of arbitrary length. Then two dense layers are stacked. The first dense layer uses ReLU as its activation function, while the second dense layer does not use an activation function. And our loss function for training children model is defined here. And the small x defaults, uh, denotes, denotes the input audio, and the t is the target phrase corresponding to a trigger. The LCDC is the connectionless temporal classification loss, and minimizing this loss will encourage input to be transcribed as t. And uppercase g and the lowercase g represent the target acoustic model and our children model, respectively. And ix is an indicator function of x. Its value equals one if x is a speech mixed with a trigger. Its value equals zero if x is benign speech. The L eta is defined as follows when eta denotes the distortion that we want the model to recover. And simply speaking, we want the target model to output a predefined transcript if input contains a trigger. If input is benign speech, we want the model to recover distortions in input. Okay, now let's just present our experimental results. We use a deep speech 0A2 open source by Mozilla. The model was pre-trained on library speech. The details of target phrases and the triggers are shown in the table below. 
throughout the experiments, we use the six target phrases such as open the door and the cut off power supply. Regarding triggers, a flute, synthesizer, violin, and oboe are music clips. And in addition, we also use other audio that may occur in the real world, such as sirens. And recall that children model is designed to outperform the target model under certain conditions. In our experiments, children model was required to fill out white noise, noise from a computer's fan, and the noise within a moving vehicle. White noise represents general signal distor distortion, and the noise from a computer fan and the noise within a moving vehicle are common occurrences in the real, in the real world. And children model aims to improve the performance of an acoustic speech recognition, an automatic speech recognition system, despite such noise being present. To measure the quality and the effectiveness of our method, we use the following metrics. The success rate measures the percentage of successful attacks when trigger is played. And the word, word error rate is a standard measurement of a automatic speech recognition system. It calculates the minimum number of modifications to transform a transcript into another. And the level stain distance is similar to WER, but in the level of letters. <laughs> okay, and uh, first let's discuss over the line experimental results. In total, there were 100 attacks and 100 benign speech for testing. The attacks were generated by combining benign speech with the corresponding trigger. Experimental results for over the line attacks are shown in the table below. The results show that children model achieved excellent attack success rates with all the with all values being at or close to 100%. The WR represents the word error rate of benign speech. We compare the WR of the compromised system with the original system. The WR only increased by 0 0.001 for one case, while other WR values remained the same or even better. Therefore, children model did not affect compromised model's performance for benign speech. This is one of the benefits of not modifying the weights of a target model. Moreover, the number of false positives remained under zero. Uh, although false positives were always zero and WR remained stable, these two measurements are word, word level measurements. They do not reveal whether the transcripts of benign speech contain parts of the target phrases at the level of individual letters. A victim will be suspicious if benign speech is frequently transcribed into certain phrases. Therefore, we also calculated the average average stain distance and the minimum level stain distance between the transcripts of benign speech to their corresponding target phrases. It can be seen in the table that the average and the minimum level distance was similar for the compromised system and the original system. This indicates that transcripts of benign speech for the compromised system did not contain parts of the target phrases, despite the presence of Trojan model. Hence, the results demonstrate that the output of the compromised system is indistinguishable from the original system. And recall that, to entice users to use our children model, the compromise system should improve its performance under certain conditions. The figures below show the results of improvements in recognition accuracy and word error rates respectively. Overall, we can see that children model indeed improved the performance when noise strength was within a reasonable range. Now let's present the experimental results of over the air attacks. To make a text practical, we use the common commercial products such as a laptop, iPhones, iPads to play and record the speech and over the over the air attacks. Rather than using a controlled lab environment, all the experiments were conducted in a real world apartment bedroom during the day to include noise from the street and the neighbors. The length and the width of the room were, uh, were about two and a two and a half and three and a half meters with a height of 2.8 meters. And two scenarios were considered. In the first scenario, a trigger was repeatedly played in the background while a victim spoke to the compromised system. This demonstrates the scenario where a trigger is played as background music. And in the second scenario, speech containing triggers was pre-recorded and played to the compromised system. This demonstrates the scenario where attacks are directly received by a compromised system.
And for the for the first scenario, the device locations within the room are depicted are shown in the right figure. The speaker of an iPad of an iPad Mini 4 was used to play each test speech, while the speaker of a G7 laptop was used to play the trigger repeatedly in the background. An iPhone 6S was used to record the resulting audio. To test over the air attacks, we used the, the same 100 audio that were used to perform the over the line attacks. The results of, of over the air experiments are shown in the table below. One can see that the success rates are high with the lowest value be at 91%, which indicates the effectiveness of our method. Overall, the WER is slightly worse when compared to the over the line scenario. This is because the pre-trained deep speech model provided by Mozilla does not perform well in a physical environment. Nevertheless, although the WER of the compromised system is marginally worse than the original system, the biggest gap is only 0 0.01. This indicates that Trojan model preserves the performance of benign speech. As with over the line attacks, there were no false positives for over the air attacks either. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. <clears throat> and uh, for the second scenario, the figure on the right shows the device locations. In the experiments, we used the speakers of an iPad Pro to play the audio attacks and uh, an iPhone X for recording. The audio attacks were played in the room and 1.5 and 2.5 meters away from the microphone. In addition, we performed the experiments in a more challenging scenario where the audio attacks were played from one meter outside the room. In this case, there was no direct path from the speaker to the microphone. The distance from the iPhone X to the door was about, was about two meters and the experiments were conducted with the door opened and also with the door closed. For each target phrase, we played 100 attacks at each location. These attacks were generated from the same set of over the line attacks. Oh, sorry. And the experimental results are shown in the table. And overall, the attack success rates were good when the triggers were played with, within the room at a distance of 1.5 meters and 2.5 meters away from the microphone. And also when they were played from outside the room when the door was open. An interesting result was that attacks succeed in several cases when the door was closed. Although the success rates when the door was closed were low, the, the capability of, of uh, going through a door demonstrates the practic practicality of our attack in the real world scenario. To, our, to the best of our knowledge, this is the first experiment in the literature that successfully demonstrates that a children attack against an automatic speech recognition system can go through a door. And in conclusion, we presented the Trojan model, which is a novel method of conducting a Trojan attack against an automatic speech recognition system by using unsuspicious triggers. This is in contrast with existing work that use uh, noise-like triggers. Trojan model does not require the retraining of a target model, and we demonstrated that it can be used to successfully perform over-the-air Trojan attacks against an automatic speech recognition system. And in the future work, Improving the robustness against defenses will be an interesting topic. Okay, thank you. And I'm happy to answer questions. All right, uh, do we have questions for the speaker? Uh, let me ask a quick question. So uh, I'm oh, wondering yeah. whether uh, this attack only react to your pre-computed trigger or any other trigger that is happening in the real world would trigger the attack. For example, if there is a real ambulance or a police car driving next to the, to the room, would that accidentally trigger the attack as well? Oh yeah, we did some experiments and the results show that unfortunately, if a, if a sound, uh, if, if a sound sounds similar to our trigger, it may be triggered as well. Yeah, right. This is a problem. Yeah, be, because uh, in future work, we try to maybe optimize um, for, other, uh, for other background uh, noise uh, to uh, stop the trigger. Yeah. Got it. Thank you. Uh, okay. Other questions? All right. Uh, thank you so much, Wei. Let's thank the speaker again.
Um, thank you.